Hey YouTube, this is Brandon coming at you one more time. Um, IPO, same thing. Today, I'm going to do a fragrance review on a, a pretty good spring and summer fragrance. Um, Carolina Herrera's 212 for men. Here's the box. Pretty plain box. Looks like the bottle. There's Carolina Herrera right there engraved into it. 212 men. The juice is on the inside. Um, I don't know what color the juice is, but this plastic here is blue, so I don't know if the juice is blue or not, but it doesn't change color as you see the juice go up and down. Pretty hefty bottles, pretty heavy. Cap is magnetic. Um, the serial number and everything's on the bottom. Anyway, we'll get straight on into it. Um, I don't really have too much time, it's pretty late right now. Um, age group, I'm going to start off straight off and say this, I see this as something college and above. Um, I don't think a lot of high school chicks would be digging the way this smells. If they do and you can pull it off, hey, that's your prerogative. You can do whatever you want to do with these fragrances. It's your choice. Um, what this smells like, um, it's not that hard. It's actually pretty easy for me to you know make something up like I always do on what this smells like but um this smells like freshly cut grass like damp freshly cut grass like when you get done cutting the grass and you pull the bag from the lawnmower and you're dumping it out and it's falling in and the smells coming up that's what this smells like off the beginning um you get that a strong blast of that and a tiny bit of metallic or magnetic note which is kinda ironic with this being magnetic um, you get a small uh, magnetic or metallic note in there too and both of these things linger on for maybe the first 30 to an hour and 30 minutes depending on your skin and how you're wearing it um, also uh, you get just a fresh a really fresh green vibe from it this is a fresh green fragrance but into the mid and base notes, you know, um, after the two hour mark, hour and 30 minute mark, um, it turns more floral and um, very musky. It's a white musk. Um, and that's pretty much what the rest of the fragrance predominantly is. A lot of people that um, have written reviews on this say they get pepper, but I don't get pepper on my skin. Um, this on me lasts anywhere from eight to 10 hours and I have really dry skin. So that's pretty good. That's very good for a summer fragrance. There's not many that can pull that amount of time. Um, like I said, this is a very, very good spring and summer fragrance. It's outdoorsy. Um, it's easy to wear. You know, this would be something I'll just throw on because I'm going to run errands or I'm going outside or I'm going to the park or I'm going to go for a jog or any of that stuff. That's what this would be for. Um, projection. I would say it's moderate. It's not nothing extremely heavy, but when it dries down into that musk, it's easy to smell that, in my opinion. Like if you walk past somebody, that musk smell kind of lingers behind you. Um, and it, it's pretty moderate. I wouldn't go too heavy with the trigger. Not because of the main, you know, the initial spray. The, cu the cut grass is kind of easy on the nose, in my opinion. But I would be more afraid of overspraying it for the musky end that you get. Um, uh, let's see what else is there about this fragrance. I know I'm going through it pretty quick for my normal thing, but it's, I mean, it's not that hard to describe this. Um, I will wear this where I wouldn't wear this because you can wear it to more places than you would. And I wouldn't wear it to church. Um, I wouldn't wear it. You can wear it on a date. I would say it has to be a hot night though. A very hot night. Um, I wouldn't wear this. You can wear this as an office setting because, like I said, once it gets past the initial grass phase, it's pretty. It's pretty nice. I mean, the grass is very nice. That's my favorite part. Um, I wish it actually lasted longer. Um, similar, similar smells. Similar, not, not exactly the same. But um, other bottles like this would be uh, Calvin Klein's Eternity, um, Lacoste Essential, other fresh green fragrances. Um, this, this will actually do a very good job for most people out there. Um, the way you wouldn't like this is if you don't like the musk in the dry down, if you're not a big musk person, 
may not be for you. I'm not a huge musk person. Um, if you don't like the freshly cut grass, um, a lot of people may not like that. Uh, also, the metallic note. Some people have a thing about metallic notes they can't stand. Um, I don't like it in Silver Mountain water, but actually in this is okay with me. So those are the, probably the only ways you probably wouldn't like this. Also, if you're a person that's looking for, to get a lot of diversity and um, a fragrance to really, you know, keep you guessing, this may not be for you because some would call this boring. You know, it's grass and then it's musk. It's pretty much what you're going to get for eight hours. So some people might find this to be very, uh, a bit boring. But to everybody else, you should give this a try. This is a definite try. Try it on your skin. Um, I think it does actually smell better on paper, so you need to try this on your skin, see how your skin chemistry picks up with it. Because I know a lot of people do get pepper on their skin, which they may not like. Some might like. So um, that's my review on this. Um, I've been doing my grading system. You'll see it on the side. Um, so there you go. I think um, this is uh, definitely a uh, worth taking a look for spring and summer fragrance, guys. This is, you know, it's no joke. It's up there with the fresh green fragrances. Like I said, few people might feel as though that is overdone or is not exciting enough for them, and the others will like something like this. So definitely give it a try for those who haven't. Um, this is not offered for my swap offer anymore. Somebody's off actually trading me. Um, they already sent their fragrance out. I got to mail this out tomorrow. That's why I'm doing this tonight. Um, so my Bulgari BLV Note is still going for swap offer. So um, guys, send me something in my inbox if you're inquiring about it. Let me know um, whatever you think, and I'll get back to you. Don't be afraid to say certain things. Um, also, what else what I want to talk about? Uh, thanks to all the reviewers, my subscribers, everybody. I'm loving the way the community is going. Um, I'm loving the feedback. I'm actually uh, working on another video that I'm going to get with a bunch of the subscribers with. I had one person um, ask me, you know, what are some good blind buys? I'm taking this right now to all the reviewers. I'm going to work on a 1 through 15 or 1 through 10 safest blind buys for the people out there that always can't, you know, get a sample or go to the store and, and smell it. So I'm going to try and compose a list of the most likable scents out there and um, I'm gonna be looking at other reviewers to help me with some input on this and I'm gonna make a list and I'm gonna do a video I will say give me about a week on that and I'll um, get back to you with that one also um, about the whole PlayStation thing I got a, a bunch of messages so to the people that have added me um, try to catch me in the game if you can I normally run with a lot of people so we're either doing we either 6-4 or we're busting a ground war on modern warfare so Try and jump in where you can. Um, to the people that have played me, Scan Scandivious, um, who is Evan, and uh, J.R. Ryder, you all know how I play, so <laughs> you know how I get down. Also, anybody else that did fighting games, um, a big one coming out is UFC 2010. So any big fans of 2009 or, or that's getting 2010, let me know. Um, in 2009, before I quit, I went 115-5. and five. Um, and I won quite a few tournaments. So in 2010, which I am getting already every pre-order, they allow you to make fight camps online. And I'm going to be making my own if anybody's interested in that. Anyway, um, thanks everybody. This is Brandon signing out.